what you need to do is first figure out who it is, who it affects, and go from there. Do you have an AS2 certificate that's expiring? Um, so first thing is, is let's figure out whose AS2 certificate's expiring. Is it your internal AS2 certificate that you're providing to anybody that wants to connect to you? Is it a trading partner's specific AS2 certificate that's expiring? Or is it a network similar to like, a, you know, think of third parties like a Lauren Data or somebody of that nature, like a Novus, GXS, any of those um, that use one general AS2 certificate to encompass multiple different trading partners that you're making that connection to. So, so if it's your internal that you're dealing with and uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to look and see who all is sending to you on that AS2 connection that's using that certificate or who are you sending to that is all using that AS2 certificate because remember that certificate is really used to encrypt the data and for whatever party's receiving the data to decrypt it so if they don't have an updated certificate well guess what most EDI systems or MFTs or however you want to call them will not decrypt data that is sent with a expired AS2 certificate. Or that means you're in a situation where EDI is not going to go through successfully. It's not going to get decrypted so that they can read it, so that they can look at it, so that their system can do whatever it needs to with that information. Typically, when I set up a certificate, I'm setting it up as a self signed or self uh, created certificate. Some entities will ask for a uh, certificate to be through a CA or a certified authority, certificate authority. However you want to look at it, um, they're going to ask for that to be through a certificate authority. You have to then go out and have and pay for a certificate to be created for you. Self-served certificates are more common. Most people will accept them. Most people won't have a problem with them if you're creating your own certificate. Um, but you want to find that out. You also want to find out, like, how many days can that certificate be valid for? Typically, when I set them up, I do five years or 1,825 days until it expires. So guess what? It's going to last for a long time is really what the gist is. Um, when you're going through it, you want to ask those type of pertinent information when you're looking to interact with a certain entity, uh, it's trading partner, van, whatever it may be, because they might have their own rules and regs depending on that certificate to allow you to know, can you do this or can you do that? They'll usually send you a, a profile sheet of what they're looking to get, whether it be a signing certificate, an encryption certificate, whatever it's going to be. They're going to give you those rules that are going to be dealing with it. They're also going to tell you what type of algorithms they're able to accept and they're able to process throughout their system. Um, typically, when you're setting them up, what I say is self-serve or self-signed. Don't go through dealing with a CA if you don't have to. Um, also, do it for five years or 1,825 days. Other thing is, look to use SHA-2 or what they call SHA-256. Um, that's the algorithm that it's encrypted by. So look to use those different things that are going to help you with your certificate when you're setting it up and you're doing it. 